Alright, in today's video I'm going to show you every single glove I have and tell you a little about each one. So uh, let's jump into it. Alright, we're going to start today's video with this beautiful Noah Centerguard Pro issue. It says Thor in the thumb as you can see, it has Thor's hammer in the palm. This is one of my new favorite gloves and probably is my favorite because you guys know I love Elite J's. So this is just unbelievable. It's pretty big, it's 12 and a half inches, but he's a pretty big guy so it makes sense. Check out this beautiful Sunflower Clevenger. I absolutely love this thing. This Sunflower is just so beautiful and the attention to detail is just crazy on this glove. But I'm really looking forward to his new one coming out. It has tie-dye on it. So this B2 is a very cool glove. I love it. But I'm really looking forward to that new one. So uh, we'll see it soon. Next we have this beautiful Rev 1X from Rawlings. It's the cloud version. And this is not available on their website unfortunately. It's only available at Dick's Sporting Goods. But this glove is just unbelievable. And with the gold label, it's so crazy. I just shot a video on it. I took some infield, so if you want to see me take infield with this, go check that out. Next, we have this beautiful Japanese single post Elite J. So beautiful. You can see there's Japanese writing on the back of the pinky right there. And it has one of the best palm stains I've ever seen. It is just so unbelievable. This yellow leather and tan lace play so well together. You can see the player's name is right there. But look how flat this glove is. That is unbelievable. They don't make them like that here in America. So very intrigued by this glove and I love every part of it. It is so beautiful. You can see just do it over there and just absolutely beautiful glove. And look at that form. That form is beautiful. I really love this glove. I want to take infield with it soon. Next we have the famous ASU DP15. I customized this glove my freshman year of college when I worked for ASU Baseball. I am just so in love with this glove. It's been one of my favorite gloves I've ever owned. I never want to break it in. It's definitely a shelf piece for me. But just look at that palm stand that's forming. It's so beautiful. As you can see, it's 11 and a half inches DP15. This will never leave my collection. I love this thing to death. Next we have the ultra expensive Steven Strasberg game used signed and a pro issue it is unbelievable it's a huge glove as well but as you can see he signed it back here the beautiful swoosh those are his grandpa's initials that's why they aren't his but obviously a very special glove and that's his foundation right there so like i said this will never leave my collection as well the gill lacing is so beautiful but black and camel and red you just can't really beat that it is just such a special glove and i've had this for a long time this is also not leaving my collection. Now we have another Diamond Elite Pro, but this one is a pro issue from Marcus Stroman. As you can see, it says family first right there. This was a Toronto Blue Jays glove of his. Height doesn't measure heart on the pinky right there. That's really special. Has some mesh on it too, which is pretty cool. You don't see a lot of Nikes with mesh. But yeah, this one's pretty used. I love this thing so much. And shout out Top Socks from Manchester for this glove. And oh my God, you just can't beat this glove. I love it. All right, here's another new glove that's a perfect game All-American Pro Preferred. We got a Pro S205 1. You can tell because of the 1, this is not the original web, but it was web swapped. Still looks beautiful. We have that cool camel colored uh, logo, which is pretty cool. American flag on the side, a lot of silver binding, a lot going on in this glove, but for some reason it all works. And I love this thing, and this probably won't leave my collection either. I just think it's such a special glove. Next we have this Kubota Slugger. This is a very Japanese glove as you can see. Very wide, we got the missing heel lace just to give it a little easier break in. Very flat as you can see. I'm going traditional on this because double pinky doesn't really feel comfortable in these. You see there's a website right there in her, or probably an email, I'm not sure. But some beautiful Japanese writing there as well. I might do a video on this glove eventually. I really think this is a special glove and I wanna take some infield with it and see how it compares to an American glove. So let me know if you like that idea. Next we have another Elite J. This one's a Matt Manning Pro Issue. Game used as well. He did use this when he pitched for the Detroit Tigers. So this is a very special glove. You can see that break and it's just perfect on here. Look at that. So beautiful. But I love this glove. This is new. It has the beautiful basket web on it. Blacked out everything except the logos and the name. So really cool looking glove. Really simple, but you know, the white still makes it pop quite a bit. So that's why I love it. Next we have my Nolan Arenado Pro Issue and signed as well as you can see. Beautiful silver Sharpie, so beautiful. The timber glaze and black is such a good combo and he stuck with that or the tan and black which also works but I'm a big fan of this timber glaze and black right now. Absolutely love this glove. 
Here's the Pro Issue Will Crow All Red Glove. I love when Nike does the All Red Gloves. I think it looks really good. As you can see, so beautiful. If I condition it too, it makes it even a deeper red, but the black logo looks really cool. I like how I went red with the name as well. It kind of makes it blend in, but you can also see it from up close. But pretty big glove. These Elite J's are just, oh, they're so perfect. I love these. Here's the Elite J that started it all. Here's a Corey Knable, absolutely beautiful glove. Beautiful power stripe on the back right there and also has the Texas Longhorns logo in the palm. So cool. But yeah, like I said, I got this back in 2016 in a trade. So this is kind of what started my whole addiction to the Elite J's, but love this glove and this probably won't leave my collection either just because of the sentimental value. Here's one of the fan favorites, the Showtime. Beautiful Pro 200 Rawlings. It is a huge pocket on it. Has the modified single post, gold labels, authentic. Says Showtime on the thumb. Obviously that's how it got its name. But I mean, just look at that. 12 inches, Pro 213. This is just Rawlings magic at its work right now. So beautiful. Here's a beautiful Jeff Hoffman Pro Issue, and this is probably my favorite one I've ever seen, just because of the Carolina Blue or Baby Blue on the gray. Not really a combination that I would think of, but I mean, look at this. It is just absolutely beautiful, and I'm so in love with it. Just his name, the Baby Blue on the gray, like I said, it's just perfect. Look at that. It's a really good looking glove, and I wish he could have gained this, but obviously when he was playing for the Rockies, he couldn't. And here's my sophomore year custom from ASU. It's an all saddle tan EL3. I love the EL3. That and the DW5 are probably my favorite Wilson models. They just, they play so well and the pockets are so deep. Again, this is a shelf piece. It has a little bit of a uh, palm stain coming in right now, but not too much. As you can see, it's an EL3, 1175. Beautiful glove and the pitchfork is, that's just the part that makes all of it perfect. Look how beautiful that is. And I went with the ASU colored logos as well, just to kind of match that, but yeah, absolutely love this glove and it's not leaving my collection as well. All right, here's the famous tie-dye 44. Uh, I made this as a custom with 44 a couple months ago and that video absolutely blew up. As you can see, I have the shaka and the palm. I went black and tie-dye because I feel like it would make the tie-dye pop a little more, which it did. And I was glad a lot of people really started to go with this same colorway once uh, I posted that video, which is really special. It's cool to see I have that type of influence, but yeah, that video almost has 100,000, actually it does, it has like 115,000 views in just like five months, which is so cool. But San Diego, California on the thumb, hang loose on the pinky. It's kind of a San Diego themed glove. It's 1175 and with the signature series and the shock and the palm. Really special glove and I love this thing. Staying on the 44 train, here's the JF16. This glove is absolutely beautiful. Um, I got this from 44 when uh, he passed away. Unfortunately, they only made two one to be auctioned for uh, his foundation and to support his family in the time of his death. And the other one went to me, which is really special. But yeah, love this glove and this is not leaving my collection. I'm not gonna break it in either, it's brick. Here's a really cool EQT ASU college issue. Like I said in the past, I really love how the Adidas put the pitchfork on the wrist. I think it's a lot easier to see, you know, putting on the thumb smart, but it really allows you to make a really big logo on the wrist, which I love. Very simple, it's just maroon and camel. So you can see a little bit of palm stains coming in here. 1175, really cool glove. I haven't broken it in, but I have played catch with one that is broken in and very soft leather. Very, very soft leather. All right, another one of the fan favorites is this beautiful 1786 ASU Custom. It's called the Bumblebee just because of the colors, obviously the gold and the black look so good together. I've broken in a little bit, as you can see. It's pretty much broken in, but I really want to get this thing going and take some infield with it. I think that'd be a lot of fun and it would be good content for a new video. So if you want to see that, comment down below. All right, here we have another Jeff Hoffman. This glove is really cool. I was told by the person who gave it to me, he did use it. You can see there's the long string on the pinky, but the web did rip right here. So that's probably why he gave it away. But this one is in Rocky colors. So that really, uh, really special to me just because, you know, he gamed this most likely. So that's really cool. Here's one of the most beautiful gloves in my collection right here. It's an Elite J stock model. It's 1275. It's the Ichiro web, which is so cool. The palm stain on this glove is just perfect. These gloves are just unbelievable. And I know it's, I say it all the time, but these Elite Js are by far the best gloves on the market. So if you can get your hands on one of these, I highly suggest you do it. I did break this glove in, as you can see. Break-in's perfect on it. So I love this thing. 
Here's another Will Crow Pro Issue. This one is huge, as you can tell. Massive glove, but it's beautiful. It has a very cool like vintage tan almost, which is a color that Wilson tried to play with a little while ago with the Daniel Norris, which I loved. But the huge red swoosh on there and his name with the red lace, it's just a really special glove. Love this thing. Here we have a beautiful Virginia college issue. This is a pro department, as you can see with the double pros but this is rich tan and a pro preferred. And in the sun, as you guys have seen in some of my older videos, this is one of the most beautiful gloves in the world. And when the sun hits it, it is just, it is so hard to beat. The break-in's pretty good on it as well, as you can see. Really strong break-in, I love this. Here's a KU Issue EQT. Just like the AOC one, this is beautiful, very stiff, and I've not broken it in. But like I said before, that logo is just so big, and I love the placement on it. This is a pitcher's model, obviously, 12 inches. Really cool glove. Once again, I have another Elite J. This glove is really cool. It's Orioles colors. D Tate's glove with the 909, which is probably the area code of his home. Really big glove, has a beautiful power band on the ring finger. Love it, and just look at that palm. It's so oiled and it looks so good. When you oil this dark tan or the chestnut, it really gives off a really deep color, which I love. Now here's a really special glove. This is a Manny Machado Pro NP7, which is obviously 12 and a quarter. It's a huge glove, but this is the exact glove model and size he used his rookie year of baseball when he played for the Orioles. Single post on that looks really unique, but I really want to shoot a video on this. That would be really cool to watch me take infield with it, because this is a massive glove, just like the Bryant. It's a heart of the hide. It has the split gray welting with the tan and just the classic red logos. Here's my first band I ever had. It's beautiful, it has the super skin on it. It's a G4, which you don't really see a lot of those anymore, but I love this thing. The palm stain, again, it's just so beautiful. 11 and a half inches, as you can see, G4. It's a little older glove, so I really love this thing. Here's a nice eBay find I found. It's another vanity glove. This is the year they won the College World Series, which is really cool, and it's a Wilson 100 the 100 year anniversary of the company. So this is really cool and it sells the tags on. Palm stain's unbelievable, it's a B2. You can tell it's the older stamping on the inside. So, love this thing. This will probably not leave my collection. Here we have the Jake Lieberman ASU glove. It's so beautiful. I wasn't sure how this was gonna look looking at the customizer, but it turned out perfect. And Jake did a really good job making this, but it has the 15 on there for Pajoria and just a beautiful glove. Um, I've been trying to break it in, but the yellow leather is very stiff, and I haven't really had a lot of time to do it too, so hopefully in the future I'll be able to break it in. Here's the Dallas Keuchel gold label with the croc skin. This is a really cool glove. It's limited, only 144 wherever made. It's 200 pattern, really cool. You can see the DK60 on there for him. It's 12 inches. Very simple glove, really interesting with the gray there. I would have loved to see this with all black, but Hey, he's the big leader and I'm not, but beautiful glove though. Here's another fan favorite. It's the H13R, the Hanley Ramirez Pro Issue with super skin. Really interesting colors. I love the white behind the logos. I know Wilson doesn't really have these logos anymore, but I think it was a very interesting look on this glove. And I wonder who designed it, if it was Hanley or if it was Osso or someone else, but whoever did, did a fantastic job and I love this thing. Here's one of my new gloves, it's the Ender Enciarte limited model as well. Only 144 were ever made. This is 142 of 144, which is really cool, but the, you can see the EI-11, beautiful glove. I love this glove. The 303s are just so beautiful and the pocket forms so well on these. Love all the gold he put on here. Gold thumb label, as you can see, just a really special glove. Here's another Jeff Hoffman I have, but this is unlike the other black one I have. As you can see, it has the purple power stripe, and this one's suede, as you can see. It looks dry, but it's not. It's just the suede, and I recently got this relays to all purple from Charlie Rose, so shout out to them. But this glove is so special. I just love all of Jeff Hoffman's gloves. He does a great job customizing these. Here's another glove I got recently at Rawlings. This is a beautiful Francisco Lindor. It has the platinum labels on it. A lot of platinum everywhere. It's so beautiful. Classic red label on the wrist. And uh, as you can see, the red lace and then red embroidery. But I love this thing. And the silver is just so pronounced in here. Look how beautiful that is. Really special glove. All right, here's the Tony Gwynn Pro Issue. 
so beautiful. He signed it as well. It's numbered out of 190. Really interesting overlay on the back here with the tan leather and black. It works though. And this is a very special glove of the city of San Diego and to me, so I love this thing. And this will never leave my collection. Here's the Pro Issue Pete Alonso. He signed it as well and also inscribed the 2019 Rookie of the Year, which is really cool. It's numbered four out of 20. Brand new glove, as you can see. This glove is so beautiful. The super skin, tan, and camel play so well together. The tan lace also makes it pop a lot too. And this guy hits home runs. I mean, what can I say? Here's a Nike Six Finger Diamond Elite Pro. This glove is beautiful. It's very interesting how half the back is that camel and half the back is black. Really cool look. I've never seen that before, but Nike innovates and that's what I really appreciate about them. This glove is so beautiful and it's basically, it's basically just one of my favorite gloves. I love the gill lacing on all these Diamond Elite Pros. Here's the game used college issue of my buddy Alec Marsh. He used to pitch for Arizona State Baseball. He was generous enough to give me this glove after he left and now he's in the Royal system. BU right there, really cool, but he was our Friday guy. This was his gamer and it's just really special to own this and this is definitely, definitely never leaving my collection. I love this thing. Here's the Coachella Gloves Custom. I love this thing. I ordered this a while ago from Charlie Rose. The black and gold labels are really cool. It's a Pro 204. Really, really nice form on it. Just look how beautiful that is. Very nice, but it says Coachella Gloves right there and half has the uh, camo mesh, which is really cool. Love this thing, love how it looks. Here's a UCLA issue from my buddy Nick Nostrini who I went to high school with. You probably remember him from some of my other videos. He's been in a few, but this glove is so beautiful. It's a huge, huge glove. Coach Savage over there really wants their pitchers to have big gloves and I think they're mandated to have big gloves. So that's the reason this is so big. It's beautiful, really cool Bruins logo right there. Nice big basket web on there with the last name. This glove is beautiful. Easton did a good job on these. Here's the RJ Dabovich college issue. He's now pitching in the Giants system, but he gave me this glove after he uh, was drafted. Again, such a generous gift, but I love this thing. Such a beautiful glove, and I love the red on it. The pitchfork really pops with the red. Here's the Wheels on the Bus Alabama issue. This glove is so beautiful. All the gold binding and gold stitching everywhere really makes the black pop. Love this glove, big A on there. Absolutely love it. This Pro Preferred seen a lot, but so beautiful. Here's my beautiful BYU issue. This is a very nice gift from Charlie Rose. Arizona flag on there. Hail, must have been a kid from Arizona who played there. Really nice 302, heart of the hide leather. So beautiful. This feels really nice. I haven't broken it in, but you can tell it formed really well if I did. Here's my Chris Bryant model. I got this a long time ago at the Rawlings store in Phoenix. Really sweet glove. And something special I didn't know about the glove when I got it is it's numbered 619, which that's San Diego's area code, so that's really special. And I didn't know that at the time, so that was a, that was a pretty cool Easter egg I found. But beautiful, 6K, so beautiful. I love this glove so much. Here's my IMG Custom, Heart of the Hide. Beautiful, we have gold and silver working on the back of the glove, which is really interesting. Beautiful logo right there, that's a high school. Really cool that high school guys are getting customs. The 205 makes it a little bigger than the 204, but love this thing, really special glove. And the break-in is just money on that, look at that. Here's a beautiful UCSB college issue. This was another gift from my buddy Noah Owen. I went to high school with him and one of my really close friends today. You've probably seen him in one of my other videos, but another Easton college issue. Really nice break-in from Sparky. Really, really nice gift. I really can't thank him enough for this. Love this thing. Here's my TT2 Custom. I've had this forever. Camel and the purple are just so perfect. I get so many compliments on this glove. Love this thing. It's probably one of my favorite gloves to take infield with. It is just so perfect. By far my favorite model by Rawlings. Here's a really unique glove. We got an A350 signed by Walker Bueller himself in that beautiful silver. So beautiful, it pops so much on the black. I love the dual hinge web on this. Just a really neat glove, I love it. Here's a beautiful U of A glove. I love this thing, besides the fact it's U of A glove, but <laughs> really beautiful. I love the gold on here. It's a really unique look, but this is from my buddy Randy, who gave me this glove, very nice of him to do that, but I love this thing. Here's my beautiful UW glove. It's a beautiful pro preferred. Like I've said in the past, I love how Rawlings puts the big logos on there. 
as you can see it's just so big it has the american flag up top black palm really beautiful pro preferred really sweet glove my brother goes to that school so that's one of the cool reasons to own this here's another custom 44 it's a lebanese glove which is really cool it has a bible verse over there it has the lebanese tree and some arabic on there really sweet glove my family's from there so that's one of the reasons why i got this glove really sweet i've had this for a long time Here's another Elite J. This one's a lot smaller, but it's the Ian Kensler. As you can see from the web, it's webbed like the way he had it, which is really cool, but pretty small glove, but yet again, just beautiful. It has the velvet liner, so it makes it really comfortable to have on your hand, but the gold swoosh on there is just so beautiful. Here's a sweet pro department. We got a half mesh pro AK2, which these are pretty rare these days, but double pro, so that's how you know it's pro department really beautiful glove you can see the tt2 pattern which is really cool the pro ak2 and the tt2 are basically the same model so just a really special glove we got a beautiful mad wolf glove that's the nickname i've given it just because of the text on there i got this in a trade the dct models are just so perfect i think it's the best first basement that's out there beautiful heart of the hide as you can see it's a dct which is sitting at 13 inches but the baby blue on this and burgundy it really reminds me of like the old phillies colors which i think that's really cool but you can just see how deep that pocket is it's unbelievable here's a sweet 1716 this was an omaha exclusive that i got back in the day love this glove really unique web on it i think wilson was doing a really good thing with this thing and if I ever made another Wilson custom, I'd probably go with the same colors and the same logo colors because this is just so special. I love this. If you guys don't know, I recently partnered with Laser and I made my own glove line. This is the JJ27 Aztec. Such a beautiful glove. Those are my initials and my high school number. But I designed this glove along with the next other three gloves and I just wanna show you guys them. And if you want them, they're online at Laser Pro's website. Unfortunately, these are sold out, but we should be restocking these pretty soon. Here's the JJ27 SD for San Diego. Have beautiful tie-dye for the power stripe. Got Coachella gloves on the wrist and the L for laser. As you can see, got everything in there. It's such a beautiful glove. Still haven't broken mine in, but I'm really looking forward to breaking it. It's such a sweet glove with the single post and everything. Here's my signature model. It's the JJ27 Encinitas. I have the sunset on the back here. That's kind of what that stands for. The 101 right there for the Pacific Coast Highway. Got the beautiful flowers on my autograph. Everything that kind of ties in to Encinitas and kind of what that city means. It's a very artistic city. Very cool. I love this glove and this is my signature one and I'll be using this for a long time. And this one finally is the JJ27 Honey. As you can see the honey dripping down on the honeycomb. Really sweet glove. I made this glove to help benefit the uh, Save the Bees Foundation. We have signed up with one to have portions of every sale of this glove go to them. You can go check that out on Laser Pro's website, but it's such a cool glove. You can see the honey dripping right there. So sweet. I absolutely love this glove. Really special glove. No one's ever done anything like this. And I just love to innovate, which is my favorite part about designing gloves. Here's Laser's collab with Charlie Rose. You know the best store in the United States for gloves, but it's beautiful San Diego themed. You can see the sunset on there really special glove you can pick this up on their website you can see it's the pro charlie rose sd really cool with the logo on the palm too absolutely love this thing here's a sweet custom i made through charlie rose it's a beautiful 302 absolutely love this glove it's pro preferred got the camo mesh on here roman numerals for a date and the american flag really american glove really special glove i love this Here's a sweet pro department from Rawlings. It has a Bible verse right there, hand sewn well, really cool. You barely see those. As you can see, it's a double pro, really cool 12 inches with the red palm, which really stands out, but so beautiful. And I'll show you the form on it. It is just perfect for a picture. Look at that. Here's a sweet Ike Davis pro shoe I have. Big shout out to Graham Mazzini for this club. He gave this to me. And he also gave me a beautiful ASU issue as well, but that's at Charlie Rose. I keep that there for my followers to go check it out when they're in there, but that still is my glove. I love it, but this glove is so cool. Great sun double right here. Ike was one of the guys. Here's a beautiful war stick outfield glove. As you can see, it's the IK3, the Ian Kensler. This glove is so beautiful. Justin Upton uses this in left field for the Angels. Really unique glove. You can see it's the double single post, which is really cool. Something very unique, very Japanese, but I love it. I think they're doing great things over there. 
Here's another cool glove. It's the uh, 44 ASU version that I made when I was in high school. It says just keep living on the thumb. My last name on the pinky. Really cool glove. Pretty simple, but you know, simple is sometimes really nice. Here's one of my high school gamers. I love this thing. As you can see, I used it so much, but this DW5 and I, we had some really good plays together. It's a beautiful palm. As you can see, it's pretty used, but I'm always gonna hold on to this just for the memories, but I love this thing. Here's my other gamer from high school. It's a beautiful 1786. USA Colors has my name right there. Very used. This is before I really knew or anything about gloves, so my form was not good on this, but I definitely learned how to form gloves after that, but still definitely keeping a hold of this, just like the DW5. All right, and here's the one catcher's glove I own. It's an old Matt Weeders. I love it. I love catching people with this just because of how comfortable it is. And it's one of the loudest gloves I have. It makes such a loud snap when I catch. But yeah, beautiful palm stain, heart of the hide, Pro CM 43 JT. So beautiful. Here's my Gimmel Sports Custom. I got this beautiful glove from them. It's a beautiful tan glove. It says Nature Boy right there. It says Stoked within the glove. But yeah, this glove is a European company, which is really cool. And they specialize in the big number on the wrist, which I think is pretty sweet. But still haven't broken this thing in, but it is just so beautiful. Very simple, very beautiful. All right, last but not least, we got a Nike 360 Vapor. Really interesting glove with the shoestring lace. Very, very high tech. But uh, yeah, these were popular a little while ago in like the 2015 All-Star Game. A lot of the pro guys were using these, like Andrew McCutcheon, Carlos Gonzalez. And I think Springer still uses one today, but very neat glove, very lightweight. Doesn't really hold its form well, but it's all for speed. All right, I hope you guys really enjoyed looking at all these gloves. Uh, a lot of you guys have been commenting on my Instagram saying you want more videos, so I'm going to try and pump out about four or five videos this winter. Comment down below any questions you have for me about any of my gloves or future videos you want to see, but I really can't thank you guys enough. None of this is possible without you guys, so thank you for your continuous support, and I'll see you guys soon. Later.